Good day, guys. Being here um, today, we are going to try um, this. Um, but um, I'm I'm going to just um, I'm not going to model model this shape exactly this um, um, structure. But um, I think we can um, because I think it can be quite hard to um, to model them like uh, uh, in place I think we can probably create a adaptive family and somehow we can create multiple of uh, these uh, family and then um, create create something like like this okay so um, let's let's do it so first uh, we're going to create a adaptive family so gener generic model adaptive okay so here so let's just create a reference line spline three points one two three so we're going to use three uh, adaptive points so you can also create use uh, cre uh, create three uh, three points and then make a, a spline through points with these three points it will be the same so now let's make select these three points and make them adaptive so the next step is uh, let's place a point use draw on face and place onto this line so we're going to uh, place a profile onto this but um, we want to so because when we if we only place this one so let me just change this one to always and then if we place this onto this work plane so it's only so it, uh, even um, if if we create a rotation angle parameter so it's only in this direction so perpendicular to this line so we also want to um, add a rotation angle um, so on the other direction <laughs> so not only this one right so so what we're going to do is we're going to place a point use draw on uh, work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan so tab tab oh uh, hell maybe do this show uncheck this show normal reference plans so you you, you will see all these one two three right so one two and three so we're going to place uh, a point use draw on word plan set word plan pick the horizontal word plan here tab tab and this one and then place a point directly onto this point so you should see this warning okay so click ok so now for, uh, to make it easier to uh, for us to place a reference line or points onto this point so we're going to drag this up for now okay so you can see this uh, offset and then from this one we're going to let's just also show this uh, work plan and we're going to place another two points onto this vertical work plan and place it click OK and then we're going to drag this uh, to here so you can see the positive uh, offset and we're going to place another point pick this work plan again place it and OK select it drag it on uh, to the other direction so it's a negative offset so we are going to create a pr uh, um, we're going to create all, all these parameters so first this select this point so this is the rotation angle so let's create a angular parameter let's call it a1 maybe okay a1 so instance okay and okay and then this one so uh, we're going to create another rotation angle uh, this time let's call it um, maybe B1 instance OK and OK and then select this point we're going to create an offset so I'll just call it offset uh, 1 and instance and OK and then select this one this one will be offset 1 negative OFS1 negative instance ok and ok so now go to family types so see this offset 1 negative equals negative offset 1 so so that that's all so now let's drag this one to 
here so eventually we'll go to this end okay so but for now i'll just uh, leave it here select all one two three four or here so we can create a reference line between these two points and make a reference line so use a spline through points okay so now we have this and also the length between this point and this point uh, is two times offset one so we can create a parameter so to control the length let's call it uh, maybe l1 and instance okay so l1 equals uh, ofs1 times two so um if you don't want to s oh hang uh, no, 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 the other way around because we want to use L1 to control offset 1 and the offset 1 negative because we want to, to type, in, type in this uh, value, right? So, because if we add a formula, it means this one become uh, gray. We can't control it. We can only control this one, offset 1. So, let's delete this one. So, instead of this, um, we're going to add a, a formula here under offset 1 so equals L1 divided by 2 okay so now oh good so we're going to use a uh, length and two angle to control this uh, profile and for these two uh, because um, they will be great and we won't be able to control them so some uh, I like to put them away so not in here <laughs> so the easiest way is to just place it in some other you know uh, um, group so okay so you can just type O it will directly go to other or you can just type in any other uh, um, letters okay so okay all good now we can select everything we have here CC and and copy two of them okay so send, select this one pick new host I'll type SM to snap midpoint and then this one to snap I'll just place it here for now because we still need to um, create new parameters we, we wanted to create three set of uh, three sets of um, parameters so this one you can see is still linked to a1 so we're going to create a new one so let's call it a2 oh sorry capital uh, yeah, just make sure they are the same so lowercase okay so all good this one will be b2 okay so create a new b2 and then uh, this one uh, offset so offset so there will be ofs2 and then the same this one will be o, o OFS2 negative. Okay, so go to family types. OFS2 negative equals negative OFS2. And also, just let's just change the group to other. And this one's oh, this one we needed to uh, do the same same parameter just like this one, but we we don't have the L2, so we need to create L2 first. And then go here equals L2 divided by 2. And also we change the group to other. Okay, so all good. Click OK. Um, um, I like geometry. I think. Oh, okay, so let's cancel this. Uh, the reason is uh, we have this L2 0. Okay, so let's just give it a number, uh, one meter. So this let's change L1 to maybe 500. Okay, so apply. Oh, good. Click OK. Um, and then this 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 uh, the last one. So create uh, a oh lowercase a3 instance. Okay, okay. And this one will be b3. Okay, so b3 instance. Okay, and this one offset. Oops, wrong one. This. So it'll be OFS3 and let's change this one to other instance. Okay, okay. And this one. And it will be OFS3 
negative and also change this one to other instance okay and okay go to family types offset 3 negative equals negative OFS3 and then let's create a new parameter length L3 instance okay and go to offset 3 equals L3 divided by 2 so oh, then also let's change the L3 to just give it number so maybe uh, 1.5 meter click OK now we can drag this to this end we can drag this to this end and then we can select this point one control select and control select we can just reduce this to zero it will go back to the reference this reference line so yeah don't worry about this click OK so now we have these three let's select the three reference lines so one control select and select create a form okay so this is a um a, a, a surface so of course when you change when you change the point uh when you place this uh point uh, in different location it will also change the shape of this uh, form so now let uh and also if you want to you can also create a parameter for the material so I'll just call it uh, material okay so um, yeah instance okay and okay so now this is it so uh, let's create a project and then uh, we're going to place this so select uh, load this one into the project so now you can see we can place one two three so go to 3d view so this is a form right so we have all these options so you can uh, let's maybe change the uh, oh looks like uh, this is not good so l1 l2 l3 a2 a1 a3 that let's go go back there uh, go to family types so see here so it's easy it's let's click on this so sort the parameter so yeah that's that's much better so click OK so load this and overwrite so now let's select this uh, family so we have all these parameters we can start to let's try it let's have a look so if I move this up so this will yeah so we'll change the shape of this right and then we can start to change so for example you can uh, i want this one to be very very uh sharp so this if i type 10 yeah and then this maybe I'll reduce this a little bit as well yeah something like that and then um for example i want to change the angle here i want this one to you know rotate the other uh um direction so uh, this is, should be 3, uh, B3, let's try negative 45 degree, ah, oh, sorry, 45 degree, yeah, maybe uh, 90 degree, okay, so you can see, ah, uh, hell, so wrong one, so it should be this one, <laughs> A3, so 45 degree, yeah, so, yeah, and let's change A2 as well, to 45, so now you can say, you can adjust all the angles, right, and create some interesting uh, shape from from these parameters 45 and maybe I'll change the uh, change this a3 uh, 90 degree okay maybe 80 degree yeah and then you can also rotate this profile like in this direction okay so th I think this one this is a oh sorry b3 so let's try 45 yeah and if negative 45 so it will go the other way so um yeah so this is it so um and then you can just create similar cs and then you can just create you know multiple of these family and then you can so for example you can just drag this up you can uh, make them you know overlap and then you can change the size you can change the size um, yeah so I think this is it um, let me think what else 
so you can um, adjust the size, make it you know very wide. Wide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And also, I think this these are generic models, so I'm not sure. Sh- oh, yeah, I, I think you should be able to place a roof by face on them. So, oh yeah, <laughs> ah, because it's pro. So th- relative to the size of this, uh, this roof is very thick. So that's why. Yeah, that's better. So if you create a new one, so for example, I'll just create a, this one and make it wider. Uh, for example, I'll just make it um, three meter and six meter and twelve meter. All right? Oh, that's not long enough. So we can just drag these points. Okay. So you can you can see uh, if you move your cursor onto this point, you will be able to adjust them. You know the height and in three di- uh, uh, directions. Okay. And then once you're happy with this, you can you know, create a roof by face. Oh, hang on. Doesn't work. It's probably the um, roof is not happy with this. Um, this uh, maybe let's try a thin roof. Sometimes uh, the roof is too when the roof is too thick, it won't work. But uh, if we uh, still doesn't work. <laughs> Anyway, so maybe we should uh, rotate some of the uh, profile a little bit, uh, make it flat. Uh, oh, maybe not this one. Maybe it's, it's this one. Forty-five degree. Yeah, flatter. And then if uh, let's try. Yeah. So now this time we can create a roof on this. Okay, so, um, so this is it. And oh, just quickly, I just uh, have some idea. So you can also on this, you can also uh, on this surface, you can also use divided surface. For example, you can try different patterns, right? So for example, this one, uh, this is um, yeah. You can probably increase the number on one direction something like that and then you load it over right and then can create some interesting pattern as well and also of course you can load pattern based family into this adaptive family okay so um this is it um uh i will upload this one so uh, this family so you can have a play okay so thank you i will see you next time thank you bye